What's up you guys, this is Peaked Fire and welcome back to another Brotherhood multiplayer ga uh, gameplay. In this episode we will play as the Barber in Venice, which is one of the, one of the tougher maps that you can play in here. This, re this map really teaches you how to blend with the crowd, because yeah, that's the best thing that you can learn in this map. And as you can see, there's my target, but yeah. My pursuer got me first before I killed my target, and that I pressed X, but uh, it didn't register, I guess. So, no. <laughs> you can hear me fuming in the back, and it kind of got me mad, but I noticed that the guy that killed me is now my target, so great revenge time. So, I noticed that he was here, and I didn't believe it was that guy, but I thought it was this guy, and I was wrong. Really, like, that was really, really bad. So I, I got angry and used my throwing knives, that guy, and my firecrackers. <laughs> and yet, like I said, like, here I said, screw it, I'm gonna try to do this, I'm gonna try to stun him once he get back up here. And it would've worked if he didn't bump into me. <laughs> Generally, you shouldn't do that. You should always try to run away from your pursuer. But I was stupid there. I chose the wrong decision and because I was I lost control of myself for a moment try not to do that like that's a reason that's a big reason why you shouldn't like get get angry because of little things try to keep your composure because it'll, it'll all, all work out for the best so I'm dead last right now so I'm really looking for a crowd to blend in and there it is right there a ton of my copies and do doppelgangers and I have time. I didn't have to rush. I saw that my my target was up there. This guy just stopped right here, knowing that he's m my his target's right there. So I stunned him. You should never, never let like a crowd of people wash over you and s while you're just standing there. That's that's just calling for someone to like stun you. Anyway, my target's right here, and he's gonna go through there. And I guess he didn't notice me spin around. <laughs> I, I spun around there and took him out right there. And once again, I'm being paranoid running away <laughs> using the firecrackers, which are really quite effective if you're really close to your opponent. Don't use it while they're far away, it won't work. It'll just make you, like, they'll just notice you a lot more. As you can see, this is, like I said before, use the crowd, blend in with them. As so you can see, there's a lot of doppelgangers for me to do that. See, there's two more right there. And in this map, it's better not to use the big building because there's only one big building. So it's no one's going to go like, oh, my compass is looking. It's pointing towards the big building, and it says my target is up there. I wonder where they are. They're not going to do that. And it's better off, you're better off staying at the, at the ground level and try to blend than go at the top. So yeah, I got killed there, and not it's not that bad. He got 300 points instead of 400. So I'm I'm getting there. I'm catching up. I'm really just trying to like block that other PK the Great. <laughs> it's the battle of the first two letters. So only one will survive. And there you go. You see me running after this doppelganger again. And that's well, that's a very good uh, strategy to learn. Try to do that. Try to maximize your your chances of survival. And like you don't even, like sometimes you don't even have to chase your opponent. Sometimes they do come to you, especially if you go to this part because this is like most of the traffic. This is where most of the traffic happens. Like that's where people jump off from on the roof. That's where they come from when they go from the other side. So this is my target, and he makes a great play by blending with that crowd and. I was temporarily confused there until I saw that this guy actually used Templar Vision to find this target. So I took advantage of the hidden hidden spot right there to get more points. Oh wait, I didn't get I didn't get the hidden bonus. That sucks. But yeah, that's too bad. My uh, PK the Great got me. Ah <laughs> uh, no. So yeah, he's ahead of me again. But that's okay. We're the barber with that smooth haircut right there. I'm pretty, well, he he's too. I think he he made he did that himself. I think. I mean, he's cool. He he. Why would he let other people touch his hair? So, right here, I know my target's up ahead, and you'll see me 
every now and then like turn around my camera while walking straight that's kind of hard to do it will make you wobble and that is a big like dead giveaway of person so try not to do that unless you know how to do it and there's my friend right there like and we're just gonna kill him there we go very nice and right there as you can see I spotted another crowd there we go and blended in quite nicely and <laughs> that doctor's been like missing his targets for quite a while now anyway now I, I saw that my targets up there he went up the stairs I do believe and I thought he was up 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 high there but not really he was using the stairs and right there he is he did not know that his target was right near him and he had no idea and I, I waited for the focus skill to kick in and there we go and with that we got 1000 points from all of that see how see <laughs> 1000 points and it's all due to patience so keep that like make sure you're all you're always trying to get more points and not just kills and right here PK the Great saw me <laughs> and my targets right next I don't know where my target is so just before I stunned him my target stunned PK the Great and killed him and I ran away <laughs> I did not know where I went to I just kept running forward hoping that he wouldn't see me so my target passed me actually I didn't notice that and so I thought it was a doctor and that doctor sat down I thought it was him so I focused on him and I did not see that executioner change back into a doctor yeah look at my compass it's not even this guy anymore <laughs> a bad start yeah I was really angry because of that bad start so uh, yeah try not try not to do that but I was hoping that this doctor would make another mistake and he did he fell for the trap so walk casually next to him <laughs> so here he is again my target and with that his jugglers cut he thought I was giving him, him like a trim do you trim yeah you do trim beards or even mustaches like my sweet sweet mustache like right there so yeah in this game deception is really one of your best weapons in in here against your opponents like in real life have you ever like eaten like a cake your friend's cake and then they ask you about it and you say no right in their face while you have frosting in, in like all over your, your cheeks and your mouth like that's what you have to do like, you have to feign feign and fake everything just be just enough before you you kill them so <laughs> so here <laughs> I stunned him I stunned one of my pursuers but then there's two more right there so either way I would not have escaped that that was a good play by Dudley dude I'm still at first, but you like you saw in my last episode, it doesn't matter if you're last, you can still catch up for less than a minute or less than two minutes. So here we go. I do believe, yeah, did Speak It a Great? One of my last kills probably, so I took advantage of that and tried to find him, and I was scared that this guy was my, my <laughs> assailant. So I, I ran away a short distance and just used this... Um, I forgot what that, I guess, oh, it's a lift, okay. I forgot what that was called. I was so paranoid. And I should not have done this. I would have net written, I would have gotten more points, actually, if I didn't do that. So there's four heliquins there. See, D I was playing with great people. So, so the heliquin killed my pursuer. I killed her. And this girl, ki this girl killed me. The circle of life. Isn't it awesome? That that's always beautiful. I've never seen like all eight people kill each other in like in sequential order or in like in a row. So I I want to see that, and I want to be the last person to kill <laughs> everybody. So ho hopefully we'll see that. It's kind of impossible though, but you never know. And here's probably the last kill that I thought that I could get here. And I saw PK the Great run past there. And instead of following him that way, I chose to try to flank him. There he is. He said to run, but no, you're not gonna run away. Use that throwing knife, and there we go. I do keep that first place spot uh, even after that kill. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. 
uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and help this uh, channel grow. And it does, it does, really does help a lot. So thank you guys for doing that, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.